happening tamers this is your homie s doc coming back to you with another video and today's video is going to round out the end of the gauntlet the digi gauntlet with uh the mastermind deck so um just jumping right into the game shout out to my boy eli hill as well he's on the left playing yellow hybrid um i use purple memory boost to grab uh, a funny fall down mode so uh while well, i'm meanwhile eating whatever i'm eating over there i think it was my <laughs> chobani protein yogurt with some uh, cereal sprinkled in bless you kid so he uses Zoe to grab Jet Sophie and then he uh, digivolves into a Zephyrmon to help cycle into this deck. He doesn't have that great of a start currently, but Yellow Hybrid is such a resilient deck, he'll definitely draw out of it. And it's not that Mastermon is like, you know, Imperial in such a fast deck, so definitely have to worry about anything, um, you know, getting no TK or getting pressured anytime soon. And just like that, TK is going to come into the, um, to the forefront on Eli's side and grab him something after, of course, he got the Jet Sophie to recover. And he lived through the check too, which was nice. So he's going to actually grab Boko and not recover because on his next turn, Boko is going to gain him a lot of value as he'll start the turn with TK. Oh, excuse me. He'll start at three um, with the TK and then be able to play the, you know, Boko and then go from there. He could digivolve over the TK just to get value because the Boko will be free, but he might, might, might not do that. But uh, so I'm going to raise the Psychomon. I'm going to digivolve into Gatomon. Then I'm going to digivolve into Angel Woman. Then we're digivolve right into Afani. And unfortunately, not be able to kill that Jet Sophie. But I'm going to recover here to kind of stabilize. And if he were to play a card like Wyvern's Breath, which he wouldn't here, um, you know, I would just easily get a body back. So Afani is going to help me kind of stabilize. And there I am with my food again. <laughs> um, okay, Boko is going to grab. Looks like only one card here. No hybrids, unfortunately. But um, still a plus one nonetheless, though. So it's fine. Gonna swing with the Jet Sylvie. Jet Sylvie's gonna hit into a Kari, so that's cool. Definitely will take that. Kari will help throughout the game to make my healing cards, you know, one less essentially. Then he's gonna play a Cody. So Cody's gonna gain him one memory to start every turn. So essentially he'll start at four. I'm going to attack the Jet Sylvie. Jet Sylvie's done a lot of work for him. He's healed one and he's lived through two checks. So we definitely gotta get rid of it. And we're also gonna get rid of that Boko as well. And uh, uh, he got rid of his TK, which he, okay, yeah, should have got rid of the uh, Boko there. And gonna get another Magna. Magna's gonna recover and uh, put him back at his three that he normally would get. So uh, it's a pretty powerful play there um, to, you know, not give him more memory than he was. And then he also won't start with that four memory, you know, like he normally would uh, if he had a yellow Digimon on the field. But now he has um, a really strong play coming up. He has two Cody's and a TK Kari and then a Patamon in the back. So what that immediately tells you is that uh, you have to just assume that the um rapid mon is online you know at all times at this point so uh and not only that he has two tk cards now and i think i have yeah i have five security to his four so he's gonna be starting at nine at <laughs> max not nine minimum uh in his next turn which is kind of insane if he raises the patamon so i decide to attack with the afani i'm gonna draw and trash one for nayaromon Get some cycling going. I'm gonna discard Tapir. Tapir is not that good in this matchup um, because you actually want to try to preserve and hard drop a lot of things because you don't want to um, deck out. Because decking out is one of the ways that Mastermind can lose if you're not careful. Um, and oh, okay. I also have the two checks too, but I'm hitting to two Tamers. So despite the fact that he only has two security left, he I'm technically threatening game next turn, but he's easily ooh okay. So we got defeat. Uh, defeat's not the greatest here, but I'm gonna get rid of at least one TK Kari. So he's gonna go to eight memory still because he's gonna go to five from. He's gonna go to three from TK. He's gonna go to five from tk kari and then plus three more for each cody so it's gonna go up to eight which is kind of crazy but uh i guess some type of tamer control is better than none, none right you know that's two less memory that he'll have to utilize um he'll have to start digivolving over some of his tamers here so you know he'll have to use a tk he'll probably use utilize one of the tks first um because you know two doesn't really do anything and then maybe a cody later on because you at least want to keep one tk then i'm going to digital into another afani mon another afani mon is going to put me at six i probably could stop healing at this point because he doesn't really start attacking me till like way later on uh, you're really trying to control my board then start getting chip damage in later on so he's gonna play the uh, rapid mon which we definitely expected and he still has a whole five memory to work with he suspended all my digimon and they all have minus uh 4k or uh, 5k rather and he can also do a lot of uh, interest, not a lot of, but he can do something really interesting with those Cody's. Since the Rapidmon has two colors, you will be able to tap the Cody to minus 2K on one of my Digimon. So Ophanimon, uh, thank goodness, won't die. It'll be, it's at 7K and, oh no, I lied. If he taps all three Cody's and the TK card, he can actually just kill the Ophanimon that way. Uh, and like an attack into security, but. And unfortunately, off of the Ophani, I do not have a Gato Mon, which is usually the ideal. I think I had Black Gato in there. But the reason why I got the Tapir Mon in this sense is because if he kills it with like an Edith Javelin or something, I can just easily draw a card. And it's a it's an easy check. It's an easy check. I, just, I can just get into security on the next turn. 
So I'm going to attack into my defeat, and we're going to end up trading here. I'm going to just get rid of the Jet Sylphie, because Jet Sylphie, of course, doesn't have Armor Purge, unlike Rapid Mind, so I can just get rid of that. And I most likely will have a Scythe. Normally, I like I you know hold my Scythe in my hand every time I see a Rapid Mind, just to easily get rid of the Rapid Mind, because, of course, the uh, Armor Purge does not save from Deletion. Well, you, you do save, but then like you still just die. You guys know how it works at this point, right? But uh, I'm going to draw Digimon to a Psychomon. I'm going to uh, attack with the Tapir Mon that came off for free, because of this... Uh, the um the Ophani Mon and then I'm gonna play a site. There's a site, and I'm gonna easily get rid of the Ophani Mon. We have a Gatomon in there. Gatomon's gonna give me a creepy mon and master mon, so that's gonna be pretty good later on. The creepy mon is the excuse me. This yellow deck is the reason why we play creepy mon in these decks right now. And it's also good to mirror match. Um I really don't like that deck out is a, an option um in these decks or whatever, but it is what it is. You have to play to your strengths and you know to your options and uh, what this format has developed to. We've lost some yellow for uh, yellow hybrid in the format though, in favor of the new toys in EX2 and just how everybody's been adapting to the deck, you know. So, uh, and Edith's javelin's gonna easily just kill my Godomon. It's fine though, trading those javelins, you know, for my Godomon. If he doesn't get rid of it, he'll know. He knows I'll definitely be able to, uh, you know, digivolve into a potentially go all the way up to a Mastermon with a Jogress evolution. He doesn't want that, so gonna play purple memory boost i can definitely slow down here um not a lot going on right now and i definitely want to be careful because i can see my deck is getting kind of low so that's one thing i definitely want to be aware of the digital to got on the back so we know i have the lady devi most likely have also the cards to set up to play a mastermind on the next turn and I, i'll have five memory to work with also keep in mind with mastermind um, i think something that i was doing earlier which i didn't realize um if you use the entire mastermind effect where you put a card in security and then you bring one out you can't tap kari to gain a memory because once you resolve and complete the mastermind effect there was no card that was added within that time window so you actually missed the timing on tapping kari now if you just put the card in security with mastermind in general and don't play anything out then of course you could tap kari to gain a memory because the game still sees that you added a card to your security so uh, Eli is going to digivolve into a Zephyrmon, and he's going to attack and loot, or die into a Lady Devimon. And he's going to... So he's getting rid of a lot of his tamers here, so that's definitely good for me, because now, like, that TK Kari is a prime target. If I do have the Massimon Lucimon combo, I definitely want to use Lucimon to target that TK Kari, because he still has less security than me. And uh, it'll behoove him not to attack me again this turn, or... or, or he Oh, he is going to attack. Okay, I'm surprised he attacked. Oh, and he hit into a health Scythe. Now, see, that Scythe's going to be kind of insane here, because uh, he could have stopped attacking and left himself at... Uh, two less security than I have, or one less security than I have, and, and make sure he gains two memory off of the uh, TK next turn. But Scythe isn't the greatest here. Uh, well, I'm gonna say I'm not gonna say it's not the greatest. I guess my targets on the greatest. Uh, didn't get Magna or not Magna the um, the Godomon. I decided to get Magna to recover one, and he's gonna hit into a loose mon, that loose mon in trash. If I didn't have one in trash before, I forgot how you know uh, eight minutes into the game, I forgot if we had another one in the trash. But with that Gatomon sitting in the back, I can easily just jog rest without passing a turn. So he probably needs to, yeah, okay. He's going to wrap him on and get rid of the uh, Magna, which is uh, going to be a strong play because I would have just been able to digivolve into the uh, Lady Devi for one and then jog rest right after because I already had the, you know, the yellow level five in Magna on the field. So I'll still be able to do it, but I think I will end up passing turn this way and it is what it is. What I should definitely do is unless I have Hell Scythe, I need to digivolve for... Uh, I need to attack over the, okay, discard a Kari in a Rapid, yep. Okay, so I attack over the Rapid first because when I do go into the Mastermon, if Lucemon is going to pop one of his Tamers and Mastermon pops the Rapid, the Rapid will be able to Armor Purge. So unless I had Scythe to just outright kill the Rapid like I did a couple turns ago, I'm going to end up doing it this way so that way I can get rid of both Digimon. And of course, this is the most powerful play in the deck. We're going to get <coughs> the Angelmon and uh, put the Lucemon in there and the Lucemon is going to play out and then delete the... CK Kari should be, and the um, Patamon, which is going to be really strong here. So I'm not threatening game next turn, but um, it's definitely getting him uh, against the ropes right now, especially because... Oh, okay, excuse me. I got rid of the... Uh, I guess I forgot he put me at um, two security. So we're even at security, so I guess getting rid of the Cody seems like it was better there. Um, but now, I don't know, maybe I should have killed the TK card, so I think I really should have because now if I do attack, he'll be at one security to my two security and he will gain two memories. So that's something I got to think about. Women's Breath is going to kill my Mastermind. Mastermind potentially threatens going into defeat. So, okay, I'm going to attack into the uh, his security and hit the Zoe. So now he definitely is going to get two memory and definitely looking back. I 100% should have killed the, uh, the TK card based off of the positioning that I'm in. So... At a hard play, Andrew Woman, since I had the memory to do it from his Wyvern's Breath, I'm going to be able to 
uh, drag rest and keep my turn. And I'm gonna get out the loose mon. I'm just gonna shuffle my security because I know 100%. I'm gonna play the loose mon. I'm gonna pop his TK Kari, which makes sense here because he would gain two memory otherwise. And I'll be able to swing for two checks here. Uh, this will be his last security though, and then we should just be able to. You know seal the game next game or next turn rather even though he has the salamon the biggest thing here i need to make sure i do is not give him three memory and yep okay i just give him one memory with the uh gazi hit into a chaos degradation um it wasn't supposed to go to the trash like it, you uh when you trash it um well, excuse me when you check it from security you place the card on top or bottom and you do not trash but either way it didn't matter there because he only had one memory he wasn't going to be able to do anything else so it looks like he had me go first. Um, I digivolved into Psychomon and passed after that. And then he's going to play Kari to pass me, uh, choke me to one. Then he's going to easily play a, uh, or no, excuse me, I traded a Eden's Javelin, which I'll definitely take all day for my Psychomon. Uh, two Scythes going to the bottom. That's not good. Purple Memory Boost. So those two less Scythes I'll have to deal with the Rapidmon later on. But I do have the Ghazi though. Uh, but the Ghazi made me pass turn. So I have to wait till the next turn to digivolve into it. He's actually going to use a TK Kari here, which makes sense to get cycling. He's going to digivolve into Zephyr. Zephyr, nope, okay, digivolve into Jet Sophie, recover one. Uh, he missed tapping the Kari, though, because Tappy, uh, Kari should have made that free. And, oh, uh, excuse me, I guess he was choking me at one. Never mind, take that back. Going to play Angelmon. Angelmon's going to put him back at five. Going to minus two security checks on the Jet Sophie. Uh, because it can easily go into a Dofani and then get a check in and I'm trying to slow him down right now He's gonna play a rapid mind rapid mind is gonna keep control of my board uh, Rapid mind in this spot though. I'm definitely not worried about you know, that's I'll take a rapid mind like that all day um, And his decks not threatening lethal anytime soon. So um, I definitely have a while to set up which is uh, nice about this matchup So guys is gonna die trade into a Dofani and trash or into in insecurity rather is gonna get trash and then Demi Mare is gonna draw a trash of chaos degradation Degregation is okay in this matchup. You really only want it versus Susanamon when they play it and if they pass turn with it. Or even if it lives, you definitely just want to get rid of it on the next turn. Fine is going to run into a Black Gato and then going to run into an Angelomon with the Rapid and an Armor Purge. Then go to the Salamon in the back. That Salamon dubs as two two cards. or That Salamon dubs two rolls. Uh, if you get the three or less security, you can raise it, attack, and then hopefully die, of course, and then uh, heal one. And then, of course, it also dubs as a card to facilitate your uh, secret weapon in Rapidmon, which is really good. And this mag, these Magnamons are putting in work. Constant Magna is just keeping me above water, uh, making sure I'm not in lethal range anytime soon. But he has another, yet another Rapid Mon, so that's two Rapid Mons down. Again, I don't mind taking this trade. It's a one for one in that sense. I'm not like losing Digimon for free. Gonna hit a uh, Defeat here. Defeat is actually pretty interesting. It's not the greatest here though, because if he were to kill it somehow, I will not, you know, uh, like killing Ofani, he's gonna bring back a body, and then Rapid Mon purges and keeps the body. So. He's counting the cards right there because I think I was very surprised he had 13 cards in hand already, but he does. And uh, yep, I'm gonna kill my, uh, I'm gonna kill his rapid. Okay, so that's two rapids down. Uh, there's no way for him to get rag rapids in this matchup, so we know we gotta deal. A lot of this matchup you gotta think about is how many cards of X does your opponent have left, and it's like, all right, he only has one rapid left. He only has this or that. If you see that fourth rapid in security, it's like, all right, I'm not have to worry about rapid for the rest of the game. Now I can actually start going wide because outside of rapid mine, they don't have any other way to delete a bunch of Digimon. Last format they had uh, Swords Lahertz or whatever that six cost purple card, but of course they're not playing that right now because they're pure yellow. But anyway, the Elfine is gonna attack into the Tapir. Tapir's gonna let me draw a card. And he's going to play TK. TK is going to choke me at one yet again. But you know what? Again, I'm at four security. Um, he could be technically, he could technically have three attacks on the next turn, so I still would be fine. Got to play uh, one of the strongest cards in the deck in the Calling from Darkness. Calling from Darkness is a very good card, uh, being that you don't have to pop a Digimon in order to bring cards back. So every time I take the card out, I wish I had it. Um, so I think it's just like a mainstay in the deck for sure. Gonna play a TK Kari. TK Kari is gonna make it so um, I'll gain two memory actually on my next turn, unless he plays this TK. And yep, he does that. Okay, so he played a TK to grab the Susanamon, and what that means is now we're at even security, and unfortunately I won't be able to gain the two memory. Reinforced memory boost comes down. I put a Chaos Degradation on top and take the Lucimon Chaos mode. Very interesting here now because does he attack? Because he knows his Ofani is not gonna get value no matter what. He was thinking about raising the salad, but decides not to. So that Ofani, like I said, even if he swings with it, he knows 100% I'm gonna put it to the bottom of his security, or to bottom or top. It's gonna, it's not gonna be able to recur and get the value. He doesn't have any cards that kills his own Ofani either, so there's literally nothing he can do to get rid of that um, Chaos Degradation. 
The only other thing I guess I could see is if like if I were to heal another one, he can attack into that second card because he knows it's not Chaos Degradation yet, just to kind of keep the flow of the game going. Still kind of sitting in a decent spot. I'm still at five security. I can kind of just wait it out. So one thing that's nice about Mastermind, you're not threatened um, at any point. What well, I want to say at any point. Um, I will say, you know what? He does have a lot of tamers, though, so I definitely need to be careful. Um, he t he can't get more than five memory, or I guess six memory because he has a Cody. So he could get three. He has five attacks, I guess, technically. So I do need to be kind of careful. But it is what it is. I'm playing, I guess, with the hand the best I can because it looks like right now I don't have a lot going on. We haven't seen a Godomon all game, I don't think. Uh, the, you know, the regular Godomon that searches. So uh, looking rough. For me as the Mastermind player currently. Got a hard Digivolve into Sasanamon, which is very interesting. So now he's now he's threatening to do some things next turn. Um, he's threatening game. So now he's putting me on a clock and he's saying, hey, you have to do something. Because uh, I, he, he's smelling blood. He sees I haven't been doing a lot this game. And he's going to actually utilize the Alfani to Digivolve into Susano. I was thinking about raising the Tavir, but I decided not to. Chaos Degregation, yeah, okay. I was going to say, I need to have Chaos Degregation here. I'm going to just put it on the top, trash the top, so he can't get it back again. And that's probably one less Susana. I'm assuming he's only playing two. That's one less Susana he'll have to be able to, uh, you know, not deck out. But, I mean, one is really all that you ever play and need anyway. The point is just trying to find the one. So, maybe he did that willy-nilly like that because you don't normally see yellow hybrid players do that. Maybe he did that for the sake of, uh, what card is that? Oh, Boko Monocar. Maybe he did that because he had both in hand, you know, or maybe he knows he has the other one in security and can just uh, play a TK to get it out later. I don't know. But uh, he has a bunch of tamers set up, and now he has the Boko, but I have a Scythe. So we know I have one Scythe left somewhere in security or, you know, top of my deck at some point because uh, two Scythes went to the bottom earlier in the game from uh, Gatomon. No, not Gatomon. Uh, purple Memory Boost. So This game is kind of crazy how I'm able to hold on like this. It's kind of... Kind of impressed at how Master Market is hold out. Uh, there's three Rapids gone now. So Rapids is going to kill off my Magna once again. Oh, no, excuse me. No, he actually attacked my security. He got a security check. He realized he made, may need to start getting some security checks. And then uh, he tapped the Cody to kill my Magna because the Magna was only at one. Then he's going to play TK Kari. TK Kari, we're both at. No, actually, I'm at five and he's at four now. So he wasn't able to control. Maybe he should have just attacked my Digimon so we didn't have equal security. But at the same time, uh, you know, you're not really progressing the game at all. And we're going to play another Scythe. So I think we dealt with all the Rapids. I feel like this game, I think I asked him where all the Rapids gone. Maybe. I don't know. But that Scythe is going to bring back Gatomon this time. I'm going to reveal three. I'm going to grab Gato and Tapir. Okay. I'm quite sure he has a, you know, eat his javelin or something to take care of the Gato. So it is what it is. There's a bunch of memory to work with, too. Six memory is a lot. Can I evolve the Zoe into a Kazemon? Feel like a Jet Selfie is coming up. If he does do that, though, oh no, never mind. If he, yeah, if he does do that, he won't gain an extra two memory off the uh, TK Kari. So it's kind of hard to navigate with this matchup um, because Mass Day can, you know, recover like you do. There's a the Chaos Degrade we knew was there. He's going to put the Kaze on the bottom of the security, which actually isn't the worst for him. That's actually a pretty good. Um, it's pretty. It's a pretty good degrade because he can just uh, grab it back, you know, with TK or a uh, what you call it again. I forgot the chick's name. Zoe. Looks like he's gonna digivolve, or okay, or not. Thinking about it. Oh, okay, he's gonna digivolve into Susano. So he got the second Susano. So, uh, drop two Susanos in the game. So, this one, of course, is going to allow him to put 10 hybrids and or tamers from his hand and trash to the bottom of his deck and delete one of my Digimon. So, uh, poor Gatomon is not long for this world. Found the Gatos, but just cannot keep him on the field, unfortunately. I'm hoping to have another Chaos Degregation in hand because uh, he could be threatening close to game next turn and I do have the Chaos Degradation so yeah so that's two gone I and mean, if you can find a way to get him back uh, then I, I it just is what it is I'm not going to be able to do anything about it alright so we're going to put a Wyvern's Breath on the top from the uh, Reinforced Memory Boost I'm going to raise Tape here Tape is going to swing 2k to security going to trade with the uh, Wyvern's we're okay with that
gonna just hard play the Lucemon here. So Lucemon is also really solid in this matchup because you get to the late game where you do have 20 or 30 cards in trash. And um, it's pretty much a guy force here. And I'm just gonna play it, hard play it to uh, delete the Cody, which is gonna be pretty solid. Haven't really been able to do my plays that, you know, Masterminds likes to do at all this game. It's kind of unfortunate. And Digivolve into a Kazemon over the TK Kari. And Digivolve into a Jess Sophie. You gotta be careful though, because like he's starting to get close to decking out. Like, um, like he's drawing, he draw, he, Jess Sophie is like drawing too, pretty much. You draw a card for Digivolution, then you heal one, which is like, you know, technically taking another card from your deck. So um, now I'm curious if I have Creepy Mon in my hand though, like at any point, because Creepy Mon is one of the only ways I can see that I can do anything. Um, looks like I counted the cards in my trash. I think I telegraphed that I have Creepy. Anticipation is real. Yep, okay, well, there it is, the creepy. Wow, so I wonder how many cards he has. I mill two, and I think I have 30 in trash. I might end up actually just, yeah, yeah, oh, wow. <laughs> just like, all right, and just like that, we got a deck out win with Master Mon, thanks to the Creepy Mon, and that displays exactly why we play Creepy Mon and why we have to play Creepy Mon, uh, Mon excuse me, because that's one of the, the ways that um, you know we're able to combat the slow nature of the Yellow Hybrid deck and how they potentially might deck us out because of Susano Mon. So with that, it's going to end it for the Gauntlet uh, with this series for Master Mon, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. So with that, again, that's going to be the end of this gauntlet. And next up in the gauntlet is going to be Gallant Mon. So be looking forward to a Gallant Mon gauntlet if you guys are curious how those uh, or how matchups go versus three different decks in the uh, current meta, in the EX2. Definitely stay tuned for that. I'll also have a deck profile from uh, Gallant Mon coming up as well. Definitely, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a red main, so I definitely want to try the deck out and see how it will compare to the other decks. But with that, y'all know what it is. Y'all have a great day and or night whenever you're catching this video. This is Yomi S. Dot. And now, peace. Ryan.